Today is Thursday, December 1st, and a Wednesday. Let's start off with Feed the Thousands. We have vastly underachieved in the food items we brought in. The freshmen only brought in 27 items, the sophomores 24, the juniors 29 items, and the 12th graders leading this very small contest yeah. with 36 food items. So we really need to improve on that. Yes, we do. And to get you guys all pumped up for this year's Feed the Thousands, let's take a look at this quick clip. Hey, BYHF from Brattleboro. Did you know that one out of every three people cannot buy enough food or nutritious food? So please help feed the thousands. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, VSAC is offering a second Paying for College presentation at the school on Tuesday, December 13th at 6.30 in the horticulture classroom at the Trade and Industrial Center. The session is free and open to the public. BOHS Book Club members, there is a meeting next Wednesday, December 7th at 8.15 in the library to discuss The Knife of Never Letting Go. If you haven't gotten the book yet, please see Mrs. Atley in the library. Today is AIDS Awareness Day, and Eric is here with a special about it. Good morning, everyone. On the 1st of December, World, World AIDS Day is celebrated. Since 1988, this, is, this day is an opportunity for people to unite in the fight against HIV and AIDS to remember those who have died of the disease and to celebrate accomplishments, such as increased access to treatment and prevention services. The theme for World AIDS Day 2011 is getting to zero. And in other news, I'm going to give a shout out to my cousin Alex Musgrove. His birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. Now back to Sam and Colby. Thanks, Eric. Also on this day in 1955, Rosa Parks jump-started the civil rights movement when she refused to give up her bus seat to a white man. The incident started a year-long bus boycott. So, um, Colby, where do you plan to, spend, plan to spend your April vacation in 2013? I don't know. I'll be in college, so I don't know. All right. Well, um, if you're not a senior, how about exploring one of the most exciting cities in the world? Here's your chance to visit London, England, as well as Stratford-on-Avon, Stratford Stonehenge, Bath, Windsor, and Oxford. See the Tower of London, see Buckingham Palace, see Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, visit Big Ben in Parliament, be amazed by Westminster Abbey and St. Paul's, St. Paul's Cathedral. Does that sound uh, pretty interesting? You could say that. Yeah. Um, then plan to attend an informational meeting about the BUHS London trip during period two in room 202 on Wednesday, December 7th, which is activity day. See Mr. Kramsky at room 202 for a pass. How about those RBLs games last night, Colby? Those they were, were pretty intense. Pretty My team games. won in overtime. So, so um, let's head over to Jesse to see what he has for sports today. First... Sam, our very own Sam Colloran, has accomplished Movember. He, is, he has not shaven, for, he is, he's the first time he has clean shaven for a month. It's, although not a real sport, Movember. <laughs> Just good job, Sam, good job. <laughs> and pink, and pink, pink beat white, 83 to 59. Um, my a gray beat red, 105 to 52. <laughs> Blue Sam's team beat <laughs> um, black 60 to 48, and Colby and yellow beat, sev beat green 77 to 72 in overtime. Back to you guys. I see. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx, yeah, okay. This year's musical will be Chicago and will play in mid February. Auditions will begin on Monday, December 12th at 3 30 in the auditorium for all students who are interested in being part of this show. Audition information is now posted outside the backstage entrance to the auditorium. Early Childhood Education has started their 8th Annual Community Service Campaign to bring smiles and joy into the holiday season for those less fortunate. Please help our community by donating new toys to any of our drop-off locations from November 28th to December 19th. Drop-off boxes will be located in many areas throughout the school, including the BUHS offices in Main Student Entranceway, the BAMS office, the Career Center office, the TIC Center office, Mrs. Kelsey's room, 294, and Mrs. Quay's room, 173. All donations will go directly to the Brattleboro Area Drop-In Center. Helping people in your community is a great feeling. Please get involved. And speaking of smiling faces, your face will be smiling after you hear <laughs> Cooper's weather forecast for the next few days. Cooper? All right, good morning. So for today's weather, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 44, low of 24. And for tomorrow, we're going to see some more sun, 47 and low of 20. So today and tomorrow are going to be great days, mostly sunny. Now back to Colby and Sam. Thanks, Cooper. Look for workshops focusing on wellness, fitness, and self-care on the upcoming activity days. 
They will be fun and informative, so please consider signing up for them. There is a unique community service opportunity for a BOHS student who loves to work with kids. A mom's helper is needed for a single mom in Dummerson. Hours are available from 5 to 7.30 during December and the holiday break. Interested students should have a car or arrange for transportation. Contact Lloyd Slaberski at the Career Center for more information. That's all we have for you today, Brattleboro. We'll be closing with the World AIDS Day still. Have a nice day.